the deep talk with mr henry thank you so much for watching the biggest show in the land in the country online and on your tv in just a very short time you've nominated us and voted for us to be your number one thank you so much amanya van peter henry let me hope your sunday is very okay and today's show is not just an ordinary show it's a state of the nation address from the king <laughs> From the, this is a state of the nation address, right? <laughs> now the pressure is up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was just coming here to chill with Mr. Henry. I know. It's not like go official at all, but you know what? Let's go. <laughs> First of all, thank you so much for making time for me. Thank you. That's I, the I, difference between you and other artists, by the way. How I really enjoy your interviews. I've not been in two interviews of late mm. because I get bored oh, yeah. of being asked the same questions and I people understand. want the same outcome. And mm. But I enjoy your shows. I, I like that you're not like anybody else. And you try to get the real story, the oh, deep yeah. story, and oh, that's yeah. beautiful. So when my when Aggie told me, you know, Henry called, I'm like, oh, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah. We'll have some time, let's do it. So I'm glad, I'm happy to be here. And I don't take it for granted. <laughs> you, you, you posted recently about your children. Yes. And then I saw the little one with yeah. the little one. And I'm yes. Like, oh, oh, the little oh, one and, then oh. <laughs> and the littlest one. Because they're born so close, mm. so close to each other. Yeah, so they're both babies. And, and sometimes I, I struggle with them because mm. Elena still feels like she's the last born. Oh, you yeah. know, and Josiah feels like he has to fight for his position. <laughs> so for yeah. me, it, it's hard to balance, but mm. we're getting our rhythm slowly. I understand. We'll get there, yes. Do you get moments like Ngoliko stage and then you snap? Elena. Um, when I see children. When I see other children, I have mm. shows that I go to and suddenly there's a child, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those moments like, like take you back for a minute, like, ah, oh, this, this could actually be my baby. Because <laughs> mm. Elina and Josiah have never watched me perform. They've Are never come to a show, yes. They haven't. I've been like, and they came during a time which is like, action, action, action. Mm -hmm. Call on you. Mm. Yeah, so they haven't actually gotten to see that. So yeah, when I see children in the audience, yes. it like takes me back for a second. But do they understand that their mother is an artist? I don't think so. I really don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't think they get it. Elena just made two years. Josiah is making one year in, oh, yeah. in April. So, mm. nah, I don't think so. I think they just think this chick is busy. <laughs> you know, but I don't think they get it. Mm -hmm. you know, no, How do you plan it. to break the information to I, them, you I as a mother? <laughs> I'll let someone else tell them. <laughs> I want yeah. I want that innocence of them not knowing the pressure of being mm. the daughter of the king herself is too much. So I want them growing up just knowing mommy is Sanyu, you know? Mm. Like <laughs> mm. yeah. Mm. I want I don't want them to know all that. Like that brings too much. Yes. So I want to, as long as possible for them to just know the mother's just Cinderella, just Cinderella. <laughs> that is mommy, impossible. Yes. I, I wish it would be that way, but it's almost <laughs> impossible because they, they will see a video, they will see, they will see a post, they will yeah. see something. Yeah. Um, but you know, Amani took a long time. My firstborn, she's 12 now. She took a while actually to know that I'm an artist. Then by the time she found out it was from her friends, they're like, that's your mom? Yeah. She's like, yeah, yeah, that's my mom. You know, mm -hmm. and then they told me, can, can she come say hello? You know, she was shocked. Yes. So, you mommy, people know you. I'm like, mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mommy, you're a celebrity. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, and then in mm. the beginning, ah, oh, she gave me such a headache. She's like, come mm. and meet my friends. They want to see you. What it's like. So she had that malo, mm. you know, in the beginning. <laughs> you know, but after sometimes, like, uh, like mm. it's no longer an issue. Yeah. Yeah. She, she's wow. such a good singer. Wow. Yes, yeah, she's amazing. And I do not want to show the world oh, because yeah. I don't want to put her out there yet. That was gonna be my next question. <laughs> As a mother. Because yeah. but how how do you balance between having your family away from social media mm, mm. because it has its own tools and, and keeping them in their own cage yeah, i prioritize that it's a lot of effort it's a lot of effort to shelter them from uh, from the media but it's a priority not just for me mm. but like everyone around me knows that the children yeah no they are not supposed to be in the media that world there mm. so because of the community the people around me mm. it helps 
like when I'm not there, they know like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. so even the media guys that like Boba and Sangana money, they're mm. like, oh, can we film? I'm like, no, 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 no just no, no. leave her alone, let her be. Let's talk about some uncomfortable questions now. <coughs> and I hope you'll uncomfortably be uncomfortable. I hope so. You know, there's a, there's a picture they took when you're performing at Rustin, right? Yes. I also saw you. You came, go over and then I was like, oh my God, Cindy's pregnant <laughs> again. <laughs> then, Ben Narina, when you're talking about Henry, now talk, don't be like that. She cannot be pregnant. Yeah, and I'm so like, no. <laughs> No, but I then the way you that. went down, yeah. like this, like, she's not. Ah, I'm like, no, she's not. <laughs> and then, no. of course, the, the audience had different reactions. In a mm. pregnancy, it doesn't look like that. I mean, if mm. for the pictures that I was down, you can tell that my tummy folds a bit. Oh, you yeah. know, a pregnancy can't do that. Pregnancy, pregnancy is like one fold. lump. Yeah, it can't fold. Yeah, so they, they had that fold, and, and then that's when you can tell that's not a pregnancy. Oh, yeah. yeah, but um, I had uh, my baby eight months ago. So it's yeah. some of the weight is still on, oh, yeah, and yeah, the yeah, truth yeah. is, I am not in a hurry to like. I'm not, you know, I'm not that age when I was younger. Perfection was so important. Mm. Right now, my I prioritize my health and yeah. how I feel mentally yeah. and, and physically. Mm. I do not want to pressure myself, mm. you know, with uh, yeah. the rest of the world. I'm not shaped like a square or a rectangle, <laughs> you know. I'm not trying to be that. I want people to see me and see everything that I am. I'm a mother, I'm a leader, I'm a wife, I'm all that. So it's because of that that I'm like, you know what, I'll go to the gym when I want to. I'm not going to give myself pressure. Uh, at the, during the launch, I had the pressure to go back to the gym, not mm. for my figure, but for energy. Because oh. I needed yeah, the yeah, energy yeah, yeah, to yeah. carry the show. Mm. So I went and I approached Shubu. I'm like, ah, I need to get my body right. And yeah. he gave me the right training to mm. handle the show. Mm. Mm. So after the show, I'm like, mm. chill out. <laughs> like that pressure is done. Yeah. So that's why I look like this. I'm not, you know, as small as I used to be, yeah. but I'm not pregnant. How do you feel when you seeing all the negativity coming from fellow women? It was annoying. It's annoying. I can't say it bothers me, but I'll say it acts me. You know, like, like This, this is so <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. Okay, because yeah. even your outfit showed that Karen Alinze could be kako, but yeah. I'm the king. Nailing in the kako, mm. but then you go down co consciously, Cindy. I know you knew something was going to come out of it mm. from the way you were dressed. I knew something was going to happen, but I yeah. didn't think they'd give it that much focus because I had an amazing show. Oh God. I worked hard on the show yeah. and I made sure everything is perfect. So I was thinking it would be like, eh, Cindy looks like she's pregnant, but she did an amazing show. You yes, understand? Yes, like, yes, I wanted yes. the main headline to be the show was amazing. The show was amazing. Nothing like it has ever happened at, at Rust and Rhyme. That's what I thought it would look like. I didn't think that, that there, the rumors would cover mm. all the work that I did at that show. Yeah. That is what, an, what annoys me. Mm. Not the fact that they said, oh, she looks pregnant. And no, that doesn't bother me because in Uganda, I've been pregnant for the last 10 years, I think, like every time I gain a little weight, it's out there, I'm pregnant. pregnant. And, and this is a, a rumor that, that uh, I can't stop. Like, even if I tell people I'm not pregnant, they're mm. like, oh, little bit, oh, little bit. <laughs> you know, it's almost like I'm having sex with Uganda sometimes. But, but <laughs> they seem to be knowing when I'm pregnant, when I'm not pregnant, you know, they seem to know me more Woo. than I know myself. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> the first yeah. comment you see on your phone or today, Momotoka, because Chia could be the war. Yeah, it true. didn't even wait. True, true. What reaction comes? Did you look like at Aggie and you're like, what? I actually didn't tell anyone. Like, I saw it. <laughs> I was sitting with Aggie in the car. Mm. And I looked at it. And I looked at just the first comment. And I was like, I'm not reading this. I'm not paying attention to it. I put the phone away. And we talked about other things. Like, I, I've, I've learned to prioritize my happiness yes, <laughs> now yes, yes. more than even before. Like, yeah. when something is going to, to take me off balance, mm. I let it go. I yeah. don't read it. I don't, nothing. Mm. And now even the people around me know I'm like, don't bring mm. that news to me. Mm. Don't bring the negativity to me. Mm. So it, it did annoy me, but I didn't think about it for long. I'm like, let it be. Let it go. Beba mind. Uh-huh. Be, being now a musician, the way you are, you have to perform the way you perform, mm. and then the the world is painting you the different picture. They see a mother, like mm. you said, they see a wife. Yes. Definitely, there are some things you're going to do as a performer, mm -hmm. and then they're going to be like, ah, oh, but now you the Akuna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First of all, how, how is it with uh, Omana? Mm. I you know he. And when you say Moana, I never look at him like that. <laughs> How do you look at him? How do you look? I'm my husband. He's like too huge to call Moana. <laughs> what do you call him? What nickname do you call him? Do you oh, have well, like nicknames? Uh, 
No, no. I actually called my husband Mr. Kuyo if I'm addressing him to somebody Are you serious? else. I have that much respect for him. Right now, well, yes, but when I'm with him, more. of course, he's baby. He's his mm. sweetheart. He's, you know, my love. Yeah. And But then with other people, I never, like, address him. You know, mm. that's the way I call him because of the respect that I've got. And what does he call? That I've got for him. He calls Kanye me Kato. sweetness. Ah! <coughs> yeah. I didn't just do that. <laughs> Like literally sweetness? Yeah, literally. I think sweet, Aggie, you've heard him, right? Yeah, he calls me sweetness. That's what you call him Mr. Who? Mr. Kuyo. Mr. Kuyo. You need to believe that. I mean, your sweetness, Liva. How has he been supportive to you mm. and your career? Well, it's honestly. been amazing. He's been amazing. I'm, uh, before people got to know him, because before I introduced him to people, I made it a point in Anzunga Nae. And I go with him everywhere. And because of how he's built, people thought he was my security. Mm. Yeah. So I was around him and people saw me for years. Mm. You know, so uh, but they kept thinking, eh, Ned that oh, is yeah. oh, that yeah. is her security, that mm. is her camera guy. Mm. That is because he kept helping out because I wanted him to know my world, oh, you yeah. know. Because uh, Mr. Kuyo was the type like when I met him, after one conversation, he told me he wanted to marry me. Oh like after one God. conversation, literally, Which we, we went about? out for, for an, we went out, it's the same year that I, that, that I think I did, uh, the same year that I did the, the movie for Bella. Oh yeah. So we, we went out. Uh, yeah, we were acting together yeah. doing that. Yeah. So after the movie is when he got the courage mm -hmm. to tell mm -hmm. me he wants to date me. So mm -hmm. after the first date, the <laughs> next day he's like, I want to marry you. Yeah, Mr. Okuyo, you know, do you, do you remember how, what you used to look like? Before? Yeah, I do. Like, <laughs> unga, unga people approaching you, yeah? <laughs> That's true. That's true. So That's we approached true. you. I know yeah. that. You know, I sing the line. I say, Siri wa muzanyo. Kuvu kumoto pa I know I'm not know. an easy woman, and I, uh, I don't intend to be. I Definitely. do not want to make it easy for anyone. You know, um, to to be around me. So yeah. I I took him around my world oh, to yeah. show him oh, yeah. what I do. Sometimes mm. it gets tricky with men. Mm. Sometimes it gets tricky with women. Mm. Sometimes we fight. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we flirt. Sometimes we don't. Like he saw all that. And after two years, he still maintained the same statement. He said, I know the Cindy on stage and I know the Cinderella and I still want to marry you. He didn't back down. No. No, he didn't. He didn't. And many times he step, he's like, how do you deal? <laughs> you know, because, you know, he's such a manly man. In, mm. And uh, the industry is not black and white. Sometimes Definitely. it's gray. It's mm. a lot of gray areas. Mm. Yeah, so he didn't understand the pretense that sometimes you have to hold back and sometimes you have to be sweet for nothing. Like, mm. all the things he didn't get. But after two years, he understood the, the art. Mm. He understood Biona. Mm. And then he's like, I still want to marry you. A lot of people are not comfortable being, a lot of men. Mm, no, they're not. <laughs> King. That's true. And then you have to to be behind the woman. You know what I mean? That's true. Now I told about Henry. There was a way I'm meeting an Alin Kuze. I was also grown. So I think for him I was easier than when I was younger. Oh yeah. When I was younger I wanted to be the king herself who stayed in Ewaka. Yeah, you know? Yeah. But then as I grew up, especially after having a money, I became more feminine. I understood the use of having a man in the house. I think the other thing that people don't know, Sakura Nam Sajiwaka. My father died when I was two years old. So, to a bit of work and a mummy. Mummy in a hustle. Mummy was everything. And my mother was a beast. Ah, oh, she was crazy. Inga. She was a very tough woman. Like, you know how children go and fight with the neighbors? Mm -hmm. My mother, mm -hmm. it didn't matter that the neighbor's father is this tall. She would slap him in the face because his child slapped. Like she didn't, she mm. was that beast in our life. So we, I didn't see a man be a man in my life. I didn't see the reason of having a man in my mm. life. Mm. Because I grew up, my mother, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. she didn't date anyone because she loved our father that much. Yeah. So for most of my childhood, she didn't date. I was seeing just a mother hustling oh, yeah. and taking care of us. And, and there is no night I slept hungry. It's not like I was desperate. You know? Angie, your yeah, family is quite... Yes, yeah. we have seven, seven children. Oof. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, hustling. And I told you that son zenali manyinti wa mukaza kola chavi malabi yonna. So, men in my life were disposable. For me, it was like, ah, again, again, again. Like, so, you like also this. had a phase in your life where when you believed in the nature, you won't make it. No, I wanted to be with someone, but I wanted mm. to be with them under my own terms. Yes, I was yeah. not willing to, mm. to how do they call it, compromise. Oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah. I didn't want to compromise. I like, I'll find somebody who loves me as stubborn, as, mm. you know, as, <laughs> as loud as I, I am, you know. There's, yeah. there's a whole generation of girls out there who, who, who believe otherwise, who, who are feminists, who, who look at men differently. Mm. 
the young I, generation and some of them even old. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. First of all, I understand. Yeah. I totally understand why yeah. a woman would feel like that. In the last 20 years, the truth is men have disappointed us. Like from being fathers in a home, yeah. being uh, uh, defending us in community. Yes. It's mm. uh, a long time ago, a woman was precious, you know. But after some time, men began disappointing us, mm. you know, mm. steadily. To the point that women are now like, we don't need men in our lives. Mm. But it's not a sustainable feeling. No, it's not. Mm. The truth is God created us in some kind of way. And you can't run away from that. It doesn't matter how powerful you are. As long and as you're human and you subscribe to the species of yes, female. Yes, it's, it's always going to be there. Yes, it's always going to be there that you need a man in your life. And, and it took me a while for me to realize that I needed mm. a man in my life. Mm. And the truth is from... Everybody that I've been with, until I was with Mr. Kuyo, I didn't see the actual need of a man in my life. Because they didn't show me that. Yeah. They didn't show me that. It's when he was in my life that I realized that, oh my God, he makes life quite easy. He makes this easier. I don't have to be, have my, my guns up all the time, you know. Because oh, yeah. I've grown up most of my life and I felt like I need to keep an eye out. You know, you can't sleep for long you can't stay awake for long like mm. i was always on guard like yeah, yeah. but when when i had him in my life it's like for a moment i could just relax and i didn't care oh, yeah. like i could sit there like that spoiled kid and say mm, boy, <laughs> you know like a point yeah, and then yeah, say yeah. do this for me and do this i want to sleep and i want to and he let me be that so oh, yeah. i realized that being vulnerable mm. was nice for the first time, yeah. it was nice. It felt good to relax and not care what's happening. Like somebody just cast my buttons on my husband. <laughs> I'd oh be yeah. like, oh yeah. you handle. I'm not mm. going to deal with anything. And mm. he had this. Whatever I put him on, he like perfectly like on the dot. Oh yeah. And I was like, ah, men are important. Exactly. Who knew? <laughs> there, there are very few artists in the caliber of, you know, the type of music that you do. Yes. Uh, that have come out to have men publicly I and actually have marriages and children. So, <laughs> career here, relationship here. Yeah. You How do those things balance, You don't Sanya? put them together. You just go with the flow. <laughs> In the beginning, there's I no tried, formula. No, there's. I can't tell you there's a formula. Let me tell you, you just go with the flow. Yeah. Yeah. You don't put a timing on your children. Put a timing on your man. No. Mm. Just go with the flow. If the man finds you in a busy period, make sure that you try and fix him and fix him. If he can't fix, don't fix him. <laughs> In January, February, you'll have time because exactly. there are no shows. You see what I'm saying? And like, he has to understand. Not, that. Yes, he has. If you, if, if you can't be fixed there, relax. They'll yeah. find time for you in Feb. Ah. Yeah, like you, you understand. You understand. So if you need time, you need to follow me around. Oh, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like all that. Like you, you need yes. to, yes, you need to be more understanding. Mm. Yes. And to love an artist, you need to actually love an artist because it's not easy. They have to love Sanyu. Yes, you need to Cinderella love Sanyu before and they love, love the king, king herself. King herself. Yes, that's true. Because they are two different people. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> they are two different people. I the difference is this, that yeah. when I'm on stage, I mm. want to be interesting from the first minute to the 40th minute to the last one hour. I'm trying oh, yeah. constantly to please you. Mm. The entire time, I'm like, wano nyimiri deo nyoka nsembire wano kwezo echi wano nzikiri deka nyoke koka nkole koko chino kanyumi yoko kumbozi kankole echi. My mind is like overdrive and I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. When I'm home, mm. I am home. I'm the most boring chick sometimes. <laughs> At home. Yeah, at home. I'm like so boring because that's my now. I would laugh. And I just <laughs> want to chill. The yeah. Are you serious? No, I don't want to listen to music at home. Music makes me work. Like every time I see something, like I'm watching, say, who? Spice. Let me give an example. And I watch a The Jamaican thinking, one. Yes. You mean. So I'm like. You might I'm say like, spice and we get the I start working because my mind oh, yeah. starts thinking, mm. I should do, ah, that's nice. I could borrow it. Oh, that. I could learn mm. from that. I can't relax when I listen to music. So I don't listen to music at home. So there, there are people, uh, one of my, of my exes was so, um, how do you say, disappointed <laughs> that I was not that, you know, like jumping around and at home I'm gonna be entertaining and singing for him and dancing. No, at home I don't wanna do any of that. I want to forget the king herself. Oh yeah. I want to remove her with the shoes and the makeup. Once oh, I yeah. wash off my makeup, she's gone. Now this is Sanyu. 
you know. Mm. And that Sanyu was very hard for him to understand, you know, because, you know, people fall in love with the picture on TV. They fall yeah. in love with the Cindy on stage. Oh, yeah. So they think that woman can be, uh, is like that all the time. That's exhausting. Extremely. If I, had, if I had to be the king herself <laughs> at home, that's mm. exhausting. I know. Very, very You'd be tiring. kinging 24-7. You know what I'm seven. saying? No, yeah. I can't do that. So at home, I want to chill. In fact, at home, I want you to do everything. Let me sleep. Like <laughs> <laughs> do Let you cook, rest. though? Let me. Sometimes you go to the kitchen and kuwata matoke. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like on, I prioritize Sundays. Oh, yeah. No shows on Sunday. And Aggie knows. And Duffy knows. Everyone knows. I'm the like, money, Sunday the money. Go. Well, we try our best, oh, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. I would try our best not to book anything on Sunday. So mm. we make Sundays very expensive so that nobody books <laughs> me, you know. So <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so at home on Sundays I want to cook, stay home, play with the babies, mm. take them to their jaja, you know, take them swimming because the rest of the week she watches it between mm. Uma meetings and, and performances and conferences mm. And, mm. and all these things. I don't get time to do special things. So Sundays, those are our days. <laughs> but at least thank you for giving us a second in the life of Cindy. I hope you understand. I hope then you do. I even see how passionate you are talking about it. You're happy. You're just like a baby now. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm such a mommy mom. <laughs> when I talk about families, this, uh, I know, I yeah. know. And um, w when he kissed you, by the way, remember when you were having that debate and he came and gave you a kiss? Was that yeah. intentional? Were you trying mm, to? No, <laughs> it wasn't. That's why it was so nice. <laughs> No, it wasn't. You know, when when I when I said "Hey, baby," it's because I was surprised. It was not. It was not <laughs> something I expected. I actually mm. didn't think he would come there. Because oh, yeah. when we arrived, yeah, Tukan is like, "Ah, oh, now I'm gonna go back." I thought he's leaving. Oh, yeah. You know, so I think he came back, and because he said he felt the pressure that I felt oh, yeah. on stage, oh, he's yeah. like, because oh, yeah. the presenter was like on my case and mm. stuff, mm. and then there's there's uh, <laughs> uh, the artist I'm with and all this. So he felt like he wanted to come to me and tell me it is all right. Relax. It's all right. And, and it really helped. Mm. So when I said, hey, baby, people think that was like something we planned and mm. all that. Mm. I didn't even think that would go viral. Yeah. I thought that would go viral. Yeah. Not, not the hey, baby. Mm. No. But it was, it was a beautiful moment. Like a kiss much to some cow. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> anyhow, let, let's talk about, you know, the, the past months that we ha we've had you trending everywhere yeah. uh, for all the reasons. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we have to talk about the battle. Oh, God. Are we going back there? A little bit. Why do people don't want to? You don't want to move on. <laughs> We're going to move on, but this is how. Okay. Me, what I'm interested in knowing, mm -hmm. Cindy, or Yao Poye, and then you get a message, you get a phone call, you get... I don't know. How is this thing initiated? Because me, can I be honest with mm -hmm. you? I'm you in your shoes. Mm -hmm. I'm the king. Mm -hmm. You call me telling me such. Nah. Why? Because I'm the king. Yeah. What makes so you the king? Then exactly let's talk now. About it. What makes you the king? What makes you the king? The I've, first thing I've, that makes I've, you I've, the king oh yeah. is the money. You understand? The oh yeah. first thing that makes you a king is the money that you make. You can't be a broke king. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You I see what I'm saying? Like the yeah. first thing is that. Then yeah. of course we think about the power and the influence that you have. Mm. But the a king needs to maintain the status. And what does that? Oh, yeah. What certifies you as a king is your paycheck. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh so I get what you're saying. And the mm. first time they told me mm. I dismissed it immediately. I'm like, eh, nah, I'm not interested. I wanted to do this four years ago, they chickened out. So now they come back to me now, yeah, I'm good. You know, mm. so but then and then they came back and they came back and they came back and and Aggie's on my case, you know, like hey, they're calling you, and they're calling you. So I give a figure which I know they're going to refuse. Like it's not a figure that paid any Ugandan artist, you see. Like I'm like Chino Chibaja Pukiza, so let me just throw a figure. Take someone and tell me the money. Take some wine and it tell me the matter, figure. It doesn't matter how much wine I take, I'm not going to tell you the figures. <laughs> it is the deep talk, Cindy. Tell me the figure. By the way, I heard from Mkubo, mm -hmm. but out of respect, I'm not going to say because I know it's wrong you anyway. You see, you're not saying. Mm. Yeah, because uh, it is so obnoxious. So like, like, Do not bring thieves to my house. So, <laughs> yeah, so I gave a mm. figure and yeah. I knew I've never paid it anyone here, you know? So I'm like, I knew they're going to say no. And I, even my team was like, eh, I'm like, that is why. 
Yeah. This is why you should tell them so they leave us alone. Mm. And then after they give the figure, the guy is like, come tomorrow. Ah, you know? They're like, ah, come tomorrow. So they say, sign. come tomorrow. You're like, yeah, like, come tomorrow. I'm like, seriously? She's like, yeah. Yeah, the guy said, we go and have a meeting. I'm like, there's no way he accepted the fee. Where She's like, yeah, you? that's what he told me. I told him the money, and he's like, come tomorrow. Could you scared? First of all, if I, I knew four years ago, that I could beat this chick at any show. Baba Jita Dewa Monsi Wansi Wensi Wansi Mu Mazuba Wa. I knew that I can beat her. I didn't see one angle where she can beat me. So why would I be scared now? Like that is like off the topic. Like there is no way she can beat me. But you know, there's a lot that goes with that. There's a PR game. There's the media. I want to go Navy into Navy. I want to it is very easy to say that this person is the best and the media is talking about you, which you mm. until it's the moment and the lights are on you. They're like, okay, the now, line. and it's just you, Henry. You cannot <laughs> substitute. I've you always cannot. wanted to There's ask this you... question, by the way. Now, let me ask before we go for the break. So you sing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fun part. <laughs> when Sheba comes on stage, mm. respectfully, you know, you, you guys like me, getting me out of contest. When you're there, what comes into your mind after she sings? Be honest. After that, go she, went, she went on first. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, when she goes on and sings her first song, what comes into your mind? You want honesty or you want honesty? To be sweet? Okay. The wine is here. <laughs> ah. By the way, Henry has given me wine. Eh? So. <laughs> honesty. Now, in Bori, in Borasoka, what comes into your mind? I, I knew the show was done. I knew I'm going to beat her after her first. After the first one minute, I knew the show is done, it's over. You know why? Because when we're doing our rehearsals, nobody knew what the other was doing. So, yeah. and the team tried so much to not expose, you know, to mm. not tell anyone anything. So that, yeah. you know, everybody brings their best game and tries to win. They try mm. to give us equal opportunities yes. of, of winning. I mean, when it comes to rehearsal, forget mm. the sound and all that. That mm -hmm. was a different mm -hmm. ball game. Mm -hmm. But we know, you know, to record a rehearsal, nobody knew where the other one is rehearsing. Bichi bichi. Yeah. And I didn't really care. I was concentrating on my own thing. Mm. So uh, I was told so many things like, like oh, she's going to arrive on a chopper. Oh, she's <laughs> going to have a hundred dance or she's going to do this and do that so my mind had like huge things and I kept thinking she is going to arrive better than me mm. because I didn't have enough time to achieve what I wanted to achieve oh, yeah. neither did I have the um, had the financial capacity to achieve mm -hmm. what I wanted oh, yeah. because uh, on her side she had the university was like a hundred percent everything was like how much because she's the face yeah, for and her it was a little bit yes you know. on her it was like a blank check like mm. what you want will give you because mm. we want you to win mm. obviously the University of Galaxuara. Yeah. So they wanted to give her everything. On my side, I had a limited budget. Like, this is how much we have, and you work around it. So while you're being given, so I felt like she had a blank check. Now she's going to do amazing things. But when I saw, I don't see. Really? Oh, she get it. So yeah. I was like, ah, I know she would. <laughs> that, that's the thing I thought. I'm like, ah, it's it was for for you. It was more about the the appearance and how much is going to put in. It wasn't more about the ability, the no, talent. No, no, because I know there's no talent. That that bit, I, e I, I, I mean, <laughs> do, you, do you want honesty or you don't want it? I want I, honesty. I, yeah, I know it's not there. So I'm expecting, like, if it was me and I knew I don't have talent in singing per se, yeah. I will dance like an idiot. You understand? Like I will dance like I lost my mind. I will do Njakuba Sama and Vewa Gurunzi Kitide Wansi Nyingide Mumazing. Have you understand? Like I will do so much. Have you seen the shows of, uh, of Jennifer Lopez? Oh, yeah. She can't yeah. sing. Like if you compare her with her industry, oh, yeah. she's like, Tomuleta will not, you know? Oh, yeah. But that chick will dance. You understand? She would she'll dance come in a costume, so you have she'll body. Come in a costume that has got bling everywhere, and then mm. she's still able to be carry drink, drink, one of the Like she'll do so much that you'll forget the fact that Tamani Kolachi, Kuyimba, and she'll have 50 dancers. I've been a very good like so much because Amani, singing is not her thing. So I expected something like that. And I was like, Ugandans love the look. Yeah. And I'm like, if she gives them the look, I'm going to have to struggle because my budget in tone, no, I mm. don't have the look that I want to do. Yes, yes, So yes. that was my scare. Mm. You know, that was my scare. So when I, I saw what she did, I'm like, 
Ah, you know, she went there. <laughs> I was like, this is over. It's just landslide, you know? I just knew it was, it was over. So if you want to know how I felt, that is how I felt. There was like no struggle in the beginning. No, it wasn't there. We're going to come back. I'm told. I'm told. I'm told. I'm told. I'm, I know. I know. Right? Nyokuwai. Now, guys, I told you this is a state of the nation address from the king herself. And if you see Aburijo, let's take a quick breather. We'll be right back to Vowis, the deep talk. Deep Talk with Mr. Henry. 